Welcome back, troglodytes, to Would You Rock or Not. It's Fender Friday again, and I'm doing one of the most requested ones for this series. The Parallel Universe Troublemaker Telecaster. So essentially, what Fender was trying to do with this is mix a Les Paul and a Telecaster. And the results are interesting. So let's take a look here. We have one of those Cabernita-styled pickguards, which if you haven't seen this review of this parts caster one, definitely do. It has two Shaw Bucker pickups. They call them the 1T and the 2T. And it has a Les Paul layout. So instead of your traditional Telecaster bridge that either goes through the body or strings through the back of it, it's a stop bar tailpiece and a bridge. That's like the biggest thing that cosmetically changes this guitar. And on top of that, instead of your normal master tone, master volume with three-way toggle switch layout, it's got the Les Paul vibe again. So that means two independent volumes and tone controls, and your toggle switch is where it would be on a Paul. They even went as far as copying the exact same type of woods used on a Les Paul. So you have a bound maple top on this one with a mahogany body, which... Which I haven't heard of that in the Fender world too often. Rosewood fretboard, eh, that's not shaking up too many trees here, but here's the big one. A mahogany neck. I did not realize this had a mahogany neck until recording this episode. Like from this photo, you can see the headstock, yeah, it looks a little bit different, but maybe it was just a dark maple. But then when you zoom in here on these photos, you can really see it, it is a mahogany neck. It's not quite as dark as I normally associate mahogany with. I mean, it almost still appears maple. So that's pretty interesting. Now with a maple top comes plain tops and flame tops. So example to example will vary a lot in this limited edition run. You can find them in this blue finish as well as a sunburst. They called it the Troublemaker Telly because, you know, they're kind of dancing a fine line here between getting Gibson upset with them for copying what they do and just the normal Fender things. But here's my beef with this guitar. If they were trying to make this the Les Paul clone, I feel they should have went all out and made this something incredibly special from Fender. This still has the 25 and a half inch scale length. They should have shortened it to 24.75 to copy the Gibson scale. On top of that, I think they should have ditched the bolt on neck. They should have tried to do the set neck Telecaster. I think that would have got collectors a lot more excited about this model. This back control plate, I'm not sure why they went for the oblong shape. I think your traditional circular one would have been better. And finally, it would have been nice to see them bind the fretboard. That way, this thing is as close to a Les Paul as possible. Maybe even instead of the string tree things, actually tilt the headstock back. If they would have done all those other little nitpicky details, I probably would have bought one of these things because it would just be too crazy not to buy. As it sits now, it's quirky enough that I like it, but not one that I would probably buy but as a guy that doesn't know a lot about Fender guitars, this thing reminds me a lot of a model from the 80s. And it's called the Telecaster Elite. Now, it's not exactly the same, and I'm not sure why I always think of this model when I see the Troublemaker Tele, but I'm guessing it has something to do with this control layout. You have a cut down pick guard that shows off the body a little bit more. But this was a limited edition Fender model released in June of 1983, and it ran until 1984 before being discontinued when Fender got sold. The pickups on this one were noise-canceling TBX and MDX active pickups. Basically, you could go from a fat humbucker sound to a really shrill single coil sound. I'm guessing it's sort of like the Les Paul artists. I'm not 100% sure on that. But this has always been kind of an interesting Fender model to me. So overall, the Troublemaker Telly, it's, it's an interesting model. I wouldn't turn down doing a full review on one, but I think they could have took this a step further to make it even more troublesome. 
But now that we've learned a little bit about it, let's go ahead and hear how one of these instruments sound. question left would you rock a troublemaker telly or not leave your answer down in the comment section below don't forget to like comment and subscribe share the video with a friend who would enjoy it and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode take care